Good evening, we've just seen the news. Uh, we see that a Moroccan asylum seeker, Ahmed Alid, has been convicted of murder. Uh, which happened in Hartlepool back in October last year. His argument, his excuse was it was revenge for the Israeli-Hamas conflict, for what was going on in Gaza. Now, if this was simply a one-off, uh, we might say, well, it's just one bad person. But you know what? We're beginning now to develop a list as long as your arm, whether it is the alkali attacker on Clapham Common whether well, it is the man that was the arsonist attacker outside the hospital in Liverpool, and I can go on and on and on with a whole list of asylum seekers, people who've entered the country illegally, that have gone on to stab people, to murder people, and who are guilty of serious sexual crimes. The funny thing is, nobody wants to talk about this. The Labour Party won't mention it. For the Conservative Party, it's all too difficult. For most of mainstream media, they'll do a news report on the story, but they'll do each of them individually and never, ever join the dots. I have been saying for some years that allowing people illegally to come into Britain, especially those who throw away their documents, their mobile phones, their passports getting chucked in the English Channel or elsewhere, is a national security risk. We have no idea who most of these people are. No ability to check whether they have previous criminal records. And we're beginning to pay the price. And what's perhaps even worse is that very large numbers of people coming to our country literally have nothing in common with us, no shared history whatsoever, and a completely different set of values and priorities. Nobody for one moment will say what is happening in Israel and Gaza and has happened since October the 7th isn't serious, isn't bad, but it's not top of your list, is it? It's not top of... You know, this, these are not the biggest issues facing you in your life, and yet, for many living in Britain, suddenly they now are. I wonder whether we will ever have the collective courage to recognise that if you allow people to come in undocumented, with our complete inability to check their criminal records, we are endangering our own population. And yes, it might be a case here, a case there, but add it all together and you can see that illegal immigration is dangerous and damaging to the British people. I have little doubt that for saying these things, I will be totally and utterly condemned and called a bad person. But it's about time somebody called out what is going on.